City. Now we look at it, it's a duel in the city's crown. We've witnessed that, that over the last week and we're cutting the face full use. Long may continue. It's just lovely to see it and you know, the public response, you know, it's just been worth it and the team is buzzing and uh, I think the city is too. Over 60 people worked on this event just to bring it together. Um, Everybody from the port to the city council, our blue light services. It's been fantastic. And the atmosphere, I walked down and had a look around. It was a great buzz there, wasn't it? And just think, this is great. This is really nice. It's a lovely city, it's a friendly city. And I think that's the important message to get out to people. This has been one of the most amazing weeks in the history of the city. This is a week where people can see the future and they can see things coming together. Maybe they weren't able to see that over the course of the last year or so. Okay, the Peace Bridge went up, then people said, well, where's it leading? Now they know where it leads, at least to Everington, a public performance space where 10,000 people can assemble from all parts of the city. And of course, this happening now, gives people a real taste of what 2013 can be like. So this is a springboard to the future. What we do now is we finish off Ebrington, we then work on Fort George and within the city centre, the private sector will respond with investments. People are seeing Derry in a different light. The camera angles have been different, the films sent back have been different. This is a new Derry and we've been here and we're really now waking up to our potential. <laughs> it's lovely to be here. <laughs> The atmosphere, I think, is the thing that people are all talking about. The fact that this is a fantastic city, that we are using our river in a way that people have talked about for years. To see the flotilla and the boats in is absolutely fantastic. And I think it's fantastic for the city. And this event will leave a huge legacy, but it also sets the scene for City of Culture 2013. You have all the day visitors and then the people that have come here to stay for a number of days to experience the event. They spend in the hotels, in the bars and the restaurants. And then we hope that there's going to be a bit of spend along the quay and also in the city centre with, with the, the shops and the retail. There's lots of way we can measure, but I think the one that's probably the most difficult to measure, but the one that's probably the most evident is the civic pride. The number of people that have said, you know what, I feel like I'm on my holidays, this is what this city's about. You know, we've definitely turned a corner, it's just fantastic. And if that makes people feel good, it's been money well spent. Welcome we had in here is absolutely spectacular. I'd just like to say um, thanks for everybody at Derry London and Derry, uh, the City Council, Marlon Waters, the Port Authorities, everybody's been absolutely superb and uh, you've made us very proud guys, thank you very much.